Hello, fellow artist, Michael Pintar here, ready to start uh, a new painting from a photograph I took at Yellowstone National Park. What a beautiful, absolutely spectacular scenic area of the country. Uh, it's been a while for me painting, so who knows what's going to happen. But I really like, uh, I love the photo. Of course, you got to be there to experience the uh, sights, the sounds, and everything else. Uh, the fourth dimension, if you will. Um, but, so where are we at? Here we are, 12, 16. Just a quick little sketch with a combination of some trans red oxide and um, cobalt blue. Mix up a little gray and just kind of... Sketch it out, see if we got the composition the way I want it. Anyway, color palettes. I kind of had a choice here uh, between cobalt blue or the ultramarine. And I think because the scene, uh, summer, late summer, to me it looks like we can get it done with these greens here uh, got some nice uh, not a lot of blues but uh, these should do it I may go to a little yellow ochre um, to get some of the yellows and golds but anyway that's kind of the the scheme I'm gonna go with and uh, leaning with a cobalt blue as a primary so color here we go once, uh, and start from there. So painting, let's get we're going painting. To be focusing on a block in um, the sky, I already did, and uh, it was a very gray makeup. I chose cobalt blue with some Terra Rosa to get a somewhat purple uh, mix. Sorry for the glare off my lights. The studio lighting is really pathetic. Uh, but that's what I got going on. These evergreens, I wanted to get the darks blocked in. And this too was done with a combination of cobalt and terra rosa. In some cases, I had a little bit of transparent red oxide. I'm using some Galkid medium to thin it back a little bit, but uh, my goal at this point is to just get everything blocked in, get my structure of the trees figured out, uh, get the darks laid down, and uh, make any corrections to the composition that I may have left off when I did the initial sketch. This painting is full of greens, and while it can be a nemesis to uh, many painters, uh, it's a fun challenge. Uh, again, my base color was cobalt blue, and I'm using a cadmium yellow deep with a cad yellow pale, uh, along with some yellow ochre light to accomplish getting a lot of these mid tone greens figured out and keeping it very very blocky uh, not, no details just a lot of big masses at this point looking for middle tones and then working my way towards highlights and darkening things back up later on I'm starting to work on the water now by the time I've got to this point uh, a lot of that base block in had at least set up enough where it wasn't too muddy. Again, I'm using cobalt white. Some of the darker water areas, I added uh, ultramarine and using the cad yellow 
medium cad yellow pale that would get me some of the reflected greens hitting that water looking for uh, patterns right now the flow establishing the flow of the water and some directions uh, the knife allows me to put in uh, a lot of the current and the reflecting light I like to use the edge of the knife a lot to help at least create the effect of the light moving well I think I've uh, accomplished what I want which was to get back to paint do some painting and uh, see how this piece worked out uh, pine trees of this sort were a little bit difficult because you want to futz with it and and try to get the leaf structure but I think at the end of the day uh, the painting accomplished what I wanted get a sense of a uh, a cloudy flat atmosphere so it was not a lot of sharp shadows but uh, Yellowstone first piece in a couple months worked. worked worked let's see here I had this photograph I kind of bumped it up before I output it um, so I flattened it out a little bit. Uh, it's not as harsh on the painting. But that's my, uh, my piece. Thanks for watching. It's Mike Pintar. See you soon. Happy painting.